are watching this video you definitely want to know why i cannot create content about my country zimbabwe or you sent in a question or you slid into my dms and asked if you can know me better and i led you right to this video but before we continue please give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't you're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and it can only happen if you guys make it happen without further ado let's get right into the video Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, I'm Tina Sparks. And if you're here for the second or third or more than three times, hey, what do you do? You guys have no idea how much excitement I get when I get in front of the camera talking to you guys. Anyway, for those who are new here, my name is Tina Sparks. I'm a Zimbabwean currently living in South Africa. I'm on a mission to change negative narratives about Africa through sharing my experiences across Africa as a Zimbabwean, okay? My journey begins in South Africa, but I'll definitely show you other parts of Africa like Kenya, Malawi, Egypt, and so forth. So you have to subscribe for you to be able to catch up on such amazing content. Anyway, I have a few questions that you guys have been asking me and today is the day I'm going to be answering all your questions that you've been asking me. So question number one says, who inspired you to start your YouTube channel and the Africa to the World movement? So basically the Africa to the World movement is a motion called by Wodemaya, the biggest YouTuber in Ghana. He says that there is a lot of Westerners who come to Africa Africa, and then they share the African story negatively so now people outside Africa think that we're not civilized enough they think that there's no development going on in Africa they think that it's only poverty and you're full of diseases but guess what Africa is not all about that Africa has good things happening Africa has beautiful people beautiful ladies like me beautiful cultures beautiful resources that if we work closely together in africa will be able to be like the richest continent in the world i am telling you so that's what actually inspired me to actually focus on the africa to the world movement because we have to take pride in our continent and if no one does that who will so i feel like it's a responsibility of mine to share stories and experiences about my beautiful continent africa which is my home so who inspired me to start the youtube channel is I've always wanted to start YouTube, I've always wanted to be on TV, I've tried acting, I've tried debating, public speaking, I've tried modeling and I've been like on TV, I've tried music videos and it has worked well for me, so for me I feel like being on TV is what I want, so this time the nice part about me being on your TV screen, me being on your YouTube screen is I get to be the director of my own story. I'll get to edit it however I like and then I get to tailor it according to my own specifications. And it's an amazing experience. I always thought that YouTube is not for people like me because no one in my community does YouTube. No one in my school was doing YouTube at that time. And I just picked up the camera one day inspired by what Bosha makes scene. Then I got onto YouTube where Bosha was doing beauty. I didn't want to do beauty so I ended up doing each and everything but then I came across Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy introduced me to, to travel and I really enjoyed your content because I've always loved traveling as well and from Trudy to Odemaya and I found passion, I found home and here we are. Question number two, Seth Tabs asks, where is Tino best? I am best right here in South Africa, in Johannesburg, specifically Midrand. Midrand is right at the center of Johannesburg and Pretoria. This is where all the magic happens. I get to enjoy the best of both worlds in Johannesburg and in Pretoria. Epitori. <laughs> so my my ask, what's your favorite country in Africa and why? You guys already know that I love Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe is my home. You know what they say when they say east or west or home is always best. But then apart from my country Zimbabwe, my favorite country in Africa is Kenya. Kabisa. I love Kenya so much and I feel like part of my roots 
are Kenyan. I'm gonna do a research about that, but I feel like I belong. I can relate strongly to the Kenyans than any other Africans. I love their safari. I love their unity. I love how these people support each other in terms of small businesses and supporting local content. I also like the the entrepreneurship economy has been coming up over the years. I've been mastering. I've been looking at it. I've been analyzing it, and I feel like if you establish a business in Kenya with how the economy as a youth and with how the economy is booming I feel like you do you do well I mean and I love that about Kenya also I love the fact that um, most of the people who inspire me in my YouTube career people like Miss Trudy or Bosha you guys know yourselves um, Ben you guys know yourself you guys really inspire me a lot and yay I find Kenya very interesting. I would also love to share an experience with the Maasai people in the Maasai Mara. Like why not? I would love to hear such an experience and Kenya, you're my home. I'm coming to Kenya soon, okay? Lin Lin also asked what's your favorite country in the world and why my favorite country in the world remains Kenya, definitely after Zimbabwe and the reasons are still the same. My Mai also asked why do you use your left hand? To eat you mean also you guys I use my left hand to eat because I am left-handed now I understand that other countries in Africa actually do not use the left hand for eating they say it's a sign of disrespect and for other religions like the Muslim they say the left hand is dirty you use it to clean yourself therefore you can't use it to eat however you guys I am Zimbabwean we have uh, our strict grandmothers here and there because I remember my grandmother used to say I can't eat with my left hand so I had to learn to use my right hand which wasn't very comfortable but I can but like it's not so much of a big deal in my country you can eat with whatever hand you want and that's why I use my left hand but then if I go and mix with other cultures or if I go into a different household I definitely if I don't forget I'll definitely use my right hand so that you don't look like you're offending other people and when you're in Rome you do what the Romans do <laughs> so somebody asks uh, how old are you do you have kids and do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend how old do you think I am well I'm in my mid 20s do I have kids no I don't have any biological kids and do I have a boyfriend or girlfriend all I can say is I am not married yet I'm at a point in my life where I don't need a partner if they don't understand my calling or my purpose right here on YouTube because I've seen so many people who've let go of their dreams because they are married or married girls don't do that so I just wanna at this point in my life I just wanna explore opportunities at this point in my life I just wanna fulfill my purpose if a life partner comes along the way I'll gracefully take it and yeah I hope I answered your question so somebody asked how was it like schooling in Mzanzi I'll say that my experience schooling in Mzanzi Africa if you guys don't know South Africa is also called Mzanzi Africa which means South Africa um, in the local South African language but like for me schooling in Mzanzi was like a bittersweet kind of relationship because I came in South Africa right at the time there was the first wave of xenophobia I think it was in 2008 2009 it wasn't easy because of the stigma of just being Zimbabwean in South Africa you try to do something in class and somebody just calls out to say hey xenophobia sit down imagine how you would feel as a young person who's just trying to be yourself and somebody just calls you down only because you're Zimbabwean that was one of the worst experiences in my schooling in South Africa however the rest was amazing being in South Africa was amazing at that time because I got to learn about different languages and you know what they say when they say teach them wrong one of the reasons why I know quite a lot of South African languages is because I learned them as I grew old speak these languages at school you know when you go for you know when you go for trips you'd meet other people with a different kind of language and you would learn it was really an amazing experience also I one thing that I also realized about South African education that is different from South African from Zimbabwean education is in high school 
let me tell you something in high school the education system in Zimbabwe is a bit tougher than the one that you had in, in that than the one that I had here in South Africa for high school so for example in Zimbabwe you would study school was tough towards exam season school was just tough so for me in South Africa the education system wasn't too tough for me because we had practicals going on here the portfolio if i'm not mistaken it contributed to like 40 percent of your 10 mark already you're relaxed because already you are passed you understand so i did the portfolio i never studied for exams i knew i still pass is i'll still come in first place in my school which is very interesting because i was a smart student so me so school in south africa was like a blast for me i really enjoyed it so so William asked when is she coming to Shanghai? You mean China? <laughs> uh, ni hao! Thank you so much for watching my channel. Anyway, when the time is right, God will make it happen. So African Maria asked how tall are you? Well, uh, how short am I? You mean I am 3.5 what? <laughs> I am 1.57 meters short and i know i look tall in my photos because i love the angles and i know how to pose okay <laughs> some zanzi in forest as i a party girl i am definitely not a party girl maybe because i have not been exposed to a lot of people so i don't have friends to party with the only real friends that i have in my life are you guys and i really appreciate you so much but yes you guys i'm definitely not a party person somebody asked what are your hobbies well my hobbies are definitely traveling i love road tripping i love going to places i'm very lucky that my hobbies is also my job however i would enjoy traveling better if i have someone to hold the camera for me and somebody does the editing of videos for me talking on the camera you know posing in front of my camera is my thing i can do it comfortably and that is also a hobby so amira asks What's your pet peeve? This is one thing that makes me cringe uncontrollably, you guys, is someone who litters. Like, why do you litter? Do you have any reason to litter? I mean, there are beans everywhere. If there's no bean, you can just keep the litter and then throw it somewhere else when you find a litter can or when you find a bean. I mean, environmental awareness should be common. I remember this one time I was interested in a guy, so we went out to eat. So while we were walking, he threw litter on the ground. That was the end of it, you guys. I, 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 it really, I can't control it. You cannot litter. What about the environment? You understand? How about the city? How about the clean roads? You understand? So I cannot tolerate it. So somebody asked, assuming you're not doing videos all your life, what are your plans? So basically for me, what I'm doing right now is I'm following passion and creating YouTube content is my passion. I really love it. I really enjoy it. And the next best thing that I would do if I wasn't doing videos is volunteering at a children's home because it's also something that I have passion for. I love kids. I love to help the needy. You know, I'd be doing that. I'd be fulfilling my passion. And of course, have an online side hustle that would sustain you because I'm telling you, I am not going to the nine to five. The nine to five life, definitely not for me. And if you are that person who joined me in the online money days, please give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you also join me into my business and my Africa to the world days, please give this video a huge thumbs up and then the question that most of you have been waiting for it reads why are you only creating content in south africa why can't you create content about your own country when are you going back home what home i am home already africa is home i believe in a borderless africa so i am already home africa is home but like on the most use now the reason why i cannot create content about my country zimbabwe is I am just not in Zimbabwe. If I would tell you that, oh, you guys, I love Gava's restaurant because it's my favorite restaurant. It's like this, it's like that. And I'm just sitting right here. Would you guys be interested in watching that content? Definitely not. I will show you Gava's restaurant, my favorite restaurant in Zimbabwe, when I go to Gava's restaurant and I sit and I'll create content for you guys. So basically, I'm creating content for South Africa because I am in South Africa. I'll definitely move to another country and create content about that country. It's fun, it's exciting when I tell you that in Kenya, they eat ugali and I'm holding the ugali and I'll just give you my impressions of the ugali because I've not tasted ugali before. 
you guys get so yes you guys i cannot create content about my country zimbabwe but because simply because i am not in zimbabwe and then the second question is uh, when are you going back to your country so i'm going back to my country when i am ready to go i keep telling you guys that this thing just doesn't happen overnight me coming to south africa was well planned for and i found myself in south africa after proper planning it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of resources to start with to just say okay i'm going to relocate back into our country i'm going to stay in a country for a year or for six months or for two months whatever it also takes a lot of money which reminds me if you guys want to support this channel you guys can do it through paypal my paypal email is sparkstino at gmail.com i'll leave it right here you guys can also send in super stickers when i do the lives or you guys can also give this video a huge thumbs up you guys can also leave a comment in the comment section it helps with my algorithm it helps you to push my video to a greater audience and you guys can also watch through the odds you guys can also share my videos with your brother with the sister with a friend and yeah by doing that they are helping support the channel and motivate me to create content about other African countries thank you so much and the last question is what are your YouTube plans for the next five years and what have you learned so far so basically I don't have a five-year plan for my YouTube I have a three-year plan so in the next three years I know that I would have impacted so many lives by sharing the African stories the African way I don't have it in specific but then I'd like to learn as I go. I also want to be surprised with what much potential that Africa has, what much potential that Africans have into making this Africa great again. So what I've learned on YouTube is consistency is key. If you are a YouTuber, if you are a business owner, if you are a 9 to 5 person, consistency with whatever you do is key to definitely pay off i also learned that patience is a virtue if you guys have joined me from day one you guys already know that there's a time when my channel was not doing well at all but i never stopped okay i continued following my passion and it's definitely working together for my good very soon we are hitting 10k and it can only happen you guys if you subscribe to this channel if you like this video if you just share the video with your friends and family and this brings us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video which kind of content you want to see on this channel and always remember that africa is the best place to be and it's africa to the world baby i'm tennis Sparks, and i'm signing out